Hello, I'm Elaine Wiley and back in 2012 when I was head teacher of St Ninian's Primary School in Scotland, I founded the Daily Mile as I saw there was a growing problem with inactivity and childhood obesity. From just one primary school, the Daily Mile has grown to thousands across the world and we'd love even more schools to join us to get children fit for learning and fit for life. What is the Daily Mile? The Daily Mile aims to improve every aspect of a child's life from their physical to their mental health and well-being through just 15 minutes every day of running or jogging. Most children average a mile or more in this time, but the distance is not important. What matters is that it's not a race and is always fun for the children. It's easy and free to set up in school with no extra workload for staff or special training required. It's based on 10 core principles which keep it simple, sustainable and fun. There's no need to overcomplicate it. Keeping it simple works best. Who is it for? It's aimed at all children aged 2 to 11. Crucial years for development. It's fully inclusive with no one left behind. Children simply run or jog at their own pace. Those who have mobility issues, complex needs, and medical conditions can all take part with support. Children usually say that they love and look forward to the Daily Mile. How long does it take? Firstly, it's quick. It takes just 15 minutes. You don't need any equipment or PE clothing. Children can take part in whatever they're wearing to school. Why does it take place in school? That's where most children are every day. They have fun running with their friends and supporting each other. Children feel empowered to look after their own health. Teachers play an important role too, offering encouragement and boosting confidence. How does the weather affect the Daily Mile? Come rain or shine, it's important that children experience nature and the outdoors. Plan a risk assessed route that is safe, the children will enjoy and has a good mud free surface to run on. Only severe heat, ice or heavy rain should stop the children going outside. How often should the Daily Mile be done? The clue's in the name, but successful schools do it at least three times a week. Teachers choose what time to go out to help refresh and motivate the children for learning. But it's important to remember that it isn't a substitute for PE lessons or playtime. What does success look like in a Daily Mile school? Research from many organisations has shown that the Daily Mile has a positive impact over time on children's mental health, fitness and body composition. Teachers and parents report that children are happier, more confident and concentrate better in class. Please visit our website to find out more. See what other schools have said about the Daily Mile, follow us on social media and register to take part. We look forward to welcoming you to our global community.